hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with teasing master takagi-san season 3 episode number 11 reaction all right the previous episode um it was the new year shrine visit episode um we go both takagi and nishikata go there and they end up together again and they do the like you know the praying the offering and then even like you know does uh the little um, what do you call them fortune uh fortune uh slip one uh picking the fortune slip that one that thing i don't know what you actually call it but you know like that one so all those things they do they are even drink a little amazake and you know the things that you do in a shrine at new year's and there was this one part when <laughs> they even tried to like you know do a little game where uh you know whose fortune will be better and Ta takagi tries to like you know uh no not takagi nishikata tries to um guess what takagi thought of and uh, what takagi prayed during the new years and <laughs> it was kind of like a fun thing and by the end of it nishikata was extremely concerned as to what takagi like you know prayed and he wasn't able to guess that at all so in a like you know in a little playful way takagi late like you know in the end kind of told him that yeah i wish that in the end uh like you know not in the end sorry uh, next year we are going to again come to this place together <laughs> <laughs> that was like you know the thing and then we get to the little snowman part where they're making snowman and uh, they make it a competition and as always nishikata is like oh i'm going to make the bigger snowman unfortunately for that he actually neglects the decoration and loses by the end of it <laughs> so that was something and then the final part is um the thing the the whole scene with hojo i think that was the girl's name he actually asked nishikata about no, Nishikata's friend, the guy who Hojo is with, uh, what he likes for is because of his birthday and stuff. So, um, and told him that don't tell this to anyone. And Takagi saw that. Takagi asked Nishikata, and Nishikata's like, nope, I'm not telling it. And uh, Nishikata, I'm sure Takagi realized that Hojo probably told him not to say anything. But he kind of like, you know, does a little, small little. Um, mean thing he she actually says that oh i also have someone that i want to give a birthday gift to 15 years next you know like uh, he, he'll be 15 years at his 15th birthday <laughs> and nishikata was like uh, extremely concerned about it but by the end of it he was like i'm sorry like i shouldn't have done that it was a little mean of me to do that uh, it was actually you <laughs> and they like you know go on their own when that was the like in the end of the episode so let's see what this episode brings we are almost at the end i think 12 episodes this season will have so two more episodes left including this one so yeah let's see what more stuff <laughs> you know what, what more happens and i'm sure we're going to get a big development within these two episodes because the final episode usually kind of has like a big development so this season has a lot of big developments but i'm sure there'll be more to come so let's see so let's get started this is episode number 11 of uh, the Teasing Master, Tagi san Season 3. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, Valentine's. Okay. I should have guessed that. It's February. <laughs> Take advantage. What? Three? Why would he why would she put three? Oh, I guess he's speaking from experience. <laughs> he's speaking from experience. For senpai. Senpai? Who? I feel like someone mixed the locker up. I think someone mixed the locker up. What? Wait, what?
I'm pretty sure someone makes something up. Or I don't know. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if at the end we actually see this is actually Takri's prank. But no, why would she put three of them if this is actually a prank? Like it doesn't make sense. Why three? I'm pretty sure someone mixed some locker up or something like that happened because I don't know. Like if it was one, I would still understand. But three of them, like, okay. I'm I'm not believing that. Like that's like that's a very weird. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Okay, let us watch what happens, what type of a situation is this, February 14th. And does Takagi know about this? Let's see. Okay, Takagi is only here, so... Oh my god. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. <laughs> so saw it coming yesterday. Oh really? What? All right, okay. Okay. Dash me boshi. Oh my God. <laughs> Either this is a prank by Takagi or I don't know. Or someone mixed up the locker. What? That's a really weird game. Zero eight. Oh hi, Yon. Four is for Yon. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. Okay. Bare bare. Totally exposed. I, okay. All right. Wow. Good wordplay. Hachi ha hare bade. Penalty. Oh no. <laughs> well, you're not sure who gave, who gave that to you, so... I feel like this Takagi is some kind of prank. I don't know. She's, she's acting too normal. She's not teasing him.
Oh my god, I feel like this is Takagi's. Yeah, this is Takagi's prank or plan, something. It's. What? Yeah, I'm like, what's happening? I'm, I'm sure this is his heart plan or something. This is really her acting. She's too good of an actor. I don't know. Yeah, what? <laughs> Santa Mina. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's see what she made. Oh, <laughs> well, it's hot outside, so. Oh, probably she wished it. What is that? Oh, hand warmer. OK. Oh, yeah, this winter, so it's not hot now. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> okay. Ah. Wait, wouldn't you two exchange within yourselves? <laughs> what the hell is this guy doing? Wait, he's drinking what? Why is he making those noises? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah, yeah, he he's, he has. Okay. He's like, dude, what the? My god. Wait, didn't they say that like, she's going to make it herself? That's what she planned, didn't she? Oh no, that's for his birthday. Oh, anyway, never mind. <laughs> yeah, so what? Oh! Oh my god, oh my god, he's like, what the hell? Oh no! No, I feel like she probably went home, decided to do it, but wasn't able to properly do it. Probably burnt it or something. <laughs> or maybe she made it and she isn't... Doesn't have the courage to give it to him. Oh my god, Takagi, what's happening? <laughs> yeah! More! <laughs> oh. Oopsie. Okay. I feel like this is some huge elaborate prank. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, the, the okay, yeah, we kind of used to do this, I remember. <laughs> like not a contest, but you know, make big ones. 
It's a weird game, I know that. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay, that's his plan. Oh, yeah, obviously, Tiger's not going to react like that. <laughs> no, I don't think she will. Are <laughs> um. That's a long one. He broke his record. What the hell? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> oh, well, that's what she stopped. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Beautiful. Huh? Uh, that's why she's like, nope, I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh my god they made a mistake i feel like i feel like they made a mistake i think they made a mistake oh wait what no wait really No, no, I think they made a mistake. Locker. Mix up the locker. No, 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 I don't think so. Wait, really? There you go. The, okay. Yep. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. What? Oh my god. Okay, turns out I was right. They, they mistook the locker. Wait, so why was Takagi concerned from... Oh, maybe she saw... Oh! She saw... She, she probably came before, opened the locker to pull some prank or something. And, and saw it. And that's why she was concerned. Uh. <laughs> uh 
I feel like she, she probably... She probably made it and wasn't able to give it to him. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, she's probably embarrassed and wasn't able to give it to him. Oh, she burned them. There you go. Okay, so I was right again. <sighs> well. <laughs> Luxury brand job. <laughs> Nah, I think, yeah, yeah, Tahir probably saw that and that's why she was kind of depressed from the beginning. She probably tried to pull some prank and she saw three of them lined up. Is that, is that Tahir's bike? Oh. come to school there's something on to it ah <laughs> she's messaging him <sighs> oh no oh my god nishka that's like what are you doing it's like up oh, right behind you um Hmm. Yeah, I just saw that. Yeah, she she opened it to pull some prank. Hmm. Oh, that's why she was trying to avoid it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, she probably tried to pull some either pull some prank or put it yeah. Okay, there you go. The other one. <laughs> Either put it in his locker or pull some prank. <laughs> okay, there you go. What is that? It's like... I take back everything. What the hell? I was so that was a prank. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, okay, there you go. <laughs> so, okay, so sh all right.
Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what is that? What is that reaction? The way he reacted. Wait, what? Nani? <laughs> you know what? If, if Hamaguchi really like forces Nishikata to do that, he'll probably be immortalized as the like you know what can I say? <laughs> like as a person who completely made this happen. Like usually in these type of anim animes and mangas. The actual confession doesn't happen up until the final, you know, chapter or whatever. But <laughs> he's the one that would mean I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think he is going to confess. I don't know. Like, but if, if by some way or the other it really happens, my god, this guy, this guy will probably be just like, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> immortalized as the perfect <laughs> what do you call them wingman or something like that yeah something like that <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i think how is probably just telling him to confess because he he's feeling <laughs> afraid to confess on his own he's like you know what i'll have at least another person with me so yeah Oh boy. But you know what? Okay, that's the end. Imagine like this scenario. You you tell your friend, you're like, you know what? Yeah, you also confess to you know the person you like, I'll also confess. And you do that because you think like, yeah, we'll be like, you know, we'll confess together. If something happened, we can console each other. And then what happens is <laughs> your friend his confession gets accepted and yours doesn't and you're like looking at him after this like you know whole situation and you're like what the hell dude <laughs> obviously that wouldn't happen in this anime because we pretty much you know like hojo likes him and uh Tahagi also likes him uh, nishikata so it, that wouldn't happen here but i'm just saying you know like just imagine this type of a scenario my god that'll be traumatizing you'll be like yeah i'm not doing this again anymore <laughs> okay <clears throat> so this episode oh boy this episode was a tricky one you know like because i i was kind of guessing what's actually happened like there were like two parts of me one part of me was telling that this was like a whole elaborate huge prank done by uh takagi was just acting like this throughout the whole day and in the end, we're going to get to know that she's the one who actually, like, you know, kept those, uh, you know, like, pack, uh, you know, like those things written senpai on it, just to, like, you know, prank him. But this, then there was this, all this, this one part of me thinking that, will Takagi really do something like that? Because, you know, this is something that is, like, you know, like, Takagi likes Nishikata. And I, I'm, I was thinking, like, would he, she really do something like that, which is basically kind of, you know, giving him hope that, yes, yeah, someone else likes him, while she's the one who actually likes him, like, she wouldn't do that. You know, there'll be like a, a little, what do you call it, like that little jealousy thing, even though it's her who put the fake ones, there will be that, that's like, you know, feeling still, that envy, envious feeling of thinking that, oh, Nishikata is... Uh, thinking that yeah someone else gave it to him and that's why he's happy like that type of a weird like you know uh, jealousy there will be there like there's also one part of me thinking that like will she really do that at this point uh, <clears throat> so like that was one thing I was thinking another thing that I was thinking was maybe this was a whole mistake and that's what it was so at the end of it we get to know that it was a whole mistake you know like the thing is yeah you know what it is like I would actually have believed that that uh, you know like that chocolate was like a real one you know if there was not three of them if there was like only one chocolate there 
I would have thought maybe someone really does like Nishikata other than Takagi and that that person that you know that girl gave it to him and later on Nishikata is going to uh, like you know not accept it and reject her confession and then like you know Takagi like you know uh, he was going to like you know <coughs> accept Takagi's chocolate something like that could have happened if there was one chocolate there was three of them and I'm like how the hell can that happen this is definitely like you know some kind of a like you know like a group you know like um like a group of people giving giving chocolate to some admired senpai that type of a thing i was thinking so i was pretty sure that it's either a huge prank by takagi or this was a whole mistake because it could not be real three chocolate at the same time written senpai you know like this is kind of impossible at least for takagi uh, not takagi sorry at least for nishikata you know it's impossible for something like that to happen at least to nishikata so <laughs> I was pretty sure it was either of that. So it it was like, you know, this whole episode kind of tricked me for real. Because I was trying to con continuously think what's happening. One one moment I was thinking maybe this is a prank by Takagi. The next moment I was thinking, oh, maybe this was a mistake. This and that, it was kind of like, you know, just alternating from one thing to another. But by the end of it, we get to know what actually happened. So basically he sees these, like, you know, uh, chocolates and he goes to the classroom he sees nishikata there now <clears throat> so <clears throat> the thing here is that i wasn't able to realize why nishikata was acting uh, like you know so not nishikata sorry why tahari was acting so bummed out up until the end because i was thinking that her acting like that was part of the whole uh, prank that she's pulling if it was a prank so i was not properly able to realize what was the reason by the end of it it was pretty you know uh easy to realize that yeah she probably came before and she opened nishikata's uh, locker uh, you know like through locker and saw these three chocolates and that's why she got um you know like she got concerned and she got a little bit um sad and that's why she's she was acting all this bummed out throughout this whole episode it would have been easy to, I, I would have been able to realize if i thought about it like that but nah, there was still that one part of me that was thinking if this was actually a prank. But anyways, we get to the classroom and Shikata is like, all right, like, what should I do? And I should not let this, like, you know, Takagi know that this is, this chocolate is here with me. So he was trying to kind of, you know, like, just keep that hidden. And then there was like a little contest where... <laughs> he's like, you know, Takagi is like, okay, we are going to... No, uh, first of all, uh, uh, Takagi asks like, what what day it is, and Nishikata is like, it's that's sardine day, I think. What? Uh, dried sardine or niboshi? Okay, National Dried Sardine Day. So two fourteen, two is February, one four is fourteenth, fourteenth of February, and she's he's like, try writing the number two one four on the board, and it would read. Ni bo shi. Ni I could understand. No, ni is two. Bo I don't know. One is ichi. So how does bo come? I'm guessing it's like a, like probably like a different kanji or something. I don't know. Uh, and she 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 also means uh, four. So ni bo shi. Oh, uh, if you think of one as a bo or a dash, I don't know what that means. Then it spells niboshi. Okay. Anyways, these are some high-level wordplay which a lot of us, most of us, wouldn't be able to understand if we don't know Japanese. And then, like you know, he's like, "All right, let's like you know play a game." And he's like, "I'm going to write something, and you're going to like you know um, guess like you know guess in numbers like what it is." So he writes zero eight four, and <laughs> Tag is like, "Is it Ohio? O is for zero, I'm guessing. Ha, hachi. Okay." Hachi eight ha and yo yo is yon for four four also is yon four can be uh, like you know said as she and yon as well like ichi ni san yon or ichi ni san she so o ha yo o is for zero ha is for hachi eight and yo for four which is yon all right i understand that <laughs> Okay, that was easily like you know deciphered by Tahagi and Tahagi then writes eight zero eight zero 
he was going to she was going to write i think yeah she write, read it, read, was going to write that in the end but at first she wrote 808 no wait what did she write eight eight is va hachi wa i don't know how that probably yeah, as i said again like kanji some kind of like you know translation thing Re eight zero is va re okay and he he was thinking okay is she going to write valentine <laughs> but then he again she again changes it to eight zero and uh, interesting thing here the whole thing over here is actually eight zero eight zero and eight zero means va re so va re va re which means va re va re means it it came out like you know it it, it like you know it's like some kind of secret uh, has come out totally exposed as it translate bare bare and he's like oh my god she she knows she knows like i got the chocolate and he's like what <laughs> now tai does a little wordplay trick here again and she's like it's not bare bare but hare bare hachi eight for ha hare and the next one is bare so hare bare means i think good good more no good good morning or something like that a clear morning i think where is it yeah totally clear harebare like totally clear like the weather something like that they say harebare i think that's what they say so that was like like the whole workplace section i don't know how i was able to explain it but i was able to understand that properly mostly most of it there was a few parts that i wasn't able to understand but still it's understandable that was a tricky part of this episode you know the, the whole wordplay thing <laughs> okay now Tahagi is like okay what should I make, say you do and like, make, make you do and now uh, here's the thing at first I really wasn't able to understand she at first she's like okay I'm going to like you know like uh, tell you to do something she goes there and she's like I'm going to let you help me with my homework and then she's like no like no need uh like just leave it i don't i don't uh like you know like my, my mood is not there to do my homework so at first i was like is this like a like you know like a part of a big plan grand plan to actually tease him by the end of it or is it something else so it actually makes so much sense now. so basically she was trying her best to act normal throughout this whole episode so like you know when Nishikata's like, oh, let's play like you know contest. She she's like, all right, let's do it. She she tried to act normal here, and she won. And she's like, all right, let's just let him help me with my homework. And she's trying to act normal, but then she, by the end of it, she's like, ah, oh, I don't like you know like just forget it. I don't like you know I'm 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 not in the mood anymore because she she was being bothered by that whole situation that she saw in the morning, like you know the 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 locker room the locker the shoe locker incident. So yeah like that's what what actually happened i actually understand now that i know the whole situation all right that was that and then there was that little section later on with uh the three girls <laughs> they were exchanging chocolates and sanai <laughs> chocolate like melted and everything and she's like oh what should we do you know my chocolate got melted it's not as hard as our friendship now <laughs> but the other girls were like no no it's fine it, it just mixed together and our friendship is even stronger now and we're all together and she said oh, all right and they even like an exchange chocolates and it was a nice situation scene and then we go back to the three boys and the other one uh like, well, i forgot her name again and the girl who is dating the boy that boy um anyways i forgot her name anyway she was giving him chocolate and while Hojo comes in and she gives Hamaguchi a normal store bought chocolate. At first she was like he was like, wait, this is normal chocolate. I'm like, what the hell, dude? Like it's a normal chocolate, take it. But then she he says, like, no, I actually saw her buying ingredients. So that means she probably made a real, like, you know, homemade chocolate and she's not giving that to me. So I'm like, okay, that makes more sense. That's why he's concerned. And yeah, obviously, like it's normal to be concerned. <laughs> at that point <laughs> okay now nishikata is kind of being bothered throughout this like you know whole day she's like he's like how can i make takagi 
like you know tell Takagi that I have this like you know chocolate and make her happy and <clears throat> he's like okay I'm going to do the eraser thing and it's funny the eraser uh, <clears throat> you know like the, the the thing that you that comes out I, I remember we used to also also used to do that not as a contest but you know like generally we used to try to make it bigger and bigger but just uh, like you know erasing portions and it used to kind of just increase and increase and I don't know it was like a weird thing we used to do as a ch children and that kind of reminded me of that <laughs> this show really gives me real nostalgic vibes of my childhood like so many situations just nostalgic <clears throat> anyways um so he's like all right what's going to happen I'm going to do this and I'm going to fail deliberately Nishka uh, Takagi is going to win and I'm I'll be like oh I'm so like you know I'm, I'm I wasn't successful I'm sorry um okay I'm going to tell you a secret and he would tell the secret and Nishikata Takagi will be like oh like you gave got so many chocolates that was how it played out in his head so that's what he planned to do he tried to do it unfortunately this time he did a big one <laughs> and he won it was not one sorry he was almost going to win Takagi was doing it <laughs> and Nishikata's like yeah go for it you're, you're doing it pretty well Takagi's like nope I'm not doing it I was like why come on do it and the teacher is like yeah just standing behind you <laughs> oh my god and asks him a question he fails answering the question and oh my god that was the scene and Tagi was laughing a little bit and I guess this is the part where Tagi kind of like you know like smiles for the first time so <clears throat> okay that was that now the final scene not the final scene sorry after that three girls comes in now here's where it was the most confusing for me there was like some portions that was i was thinking wait a minute is this really real is this really happening three girls actually giving him chocolate at the same time like what the hell like i was really surprised because i thought like that was something only like you know like you know like the type of situations where like there's like a senpai who like does some sports or something or something like that and there's like a lot of fans they have and they that, that's why they get so many chocolates that's that type of situation Nishikata never does something like that so I was really surprised I'm like three of them at the same time like what how is that possible but the way they were like you know just standing there blushing I'm like wait a minute like they're blushing like that like what's happening is this really happening and then by the end of it I realized they were actually embarrassed because they missed mistakenly put it in his locker and they have actually come to take it back that's why they were embarrassed and blushing i'm like all right that's the reason why they were blushing like that them just like you know standing there blushing and looking downwards really threw me off i'm like my god is this really happening <clears throat> but then by the end of it I, I was able to realize like yeah that's it's actually not this, this that situation i was right from the beginning these girls mistook the locker and that's why they were like you know when Nishikata is like now here's the thing you know like they actually did not say it first that oh we made a mistake Nishikata is the one who takes the first step here he, he thinks that yeah these girls are actually giving him chocolate so he's like I'm sorry you know I, I can't accept this like I apologize and gives it back to him without knowing that they made an actual mistake which is a big thing here because you know like Tahagi was there Tahagi saw that herself I saw that that he was the one who rejected it at first so he rejects it at first and that's when the girls all probably get a little bit courage they're like okay so yeah like uh, like i'm like thank god like you know like you you actually have it and you have not eaten it or you're actually giving it back because that was an actual mistake we didn't mean to put it in your locker so they apologize they take the chocolate <laughs> and nishkata's like what the hell like like I understand like you know like I, I I'm giving it back I know that but still it kind of this is weird you know like them saying like you know this is like a mistake and he was just flabbergasted standing like that when the the other <laughs> the other guy like what was his name the senpai Shibasaki senpai he gets called and they are like oh this is for you and he accepts it but by the end of it Tagi is happy not Tai, sorry, Nishikata is happy. He's like, okay, thank God. Um, <clears throat> the mistake, uh, the, the misunderstanding got, like, you know, resolved. Alright, then there was that whole scene with Hojo as well, where... 
<laughs> again i realized it's either that he she either like you know burned the chocolate or she made it and she's not able to give it to him because she's a little bit embarrassed uh turns out it was the first one she actually burnt it <laughs> after learning that hamazaki hamazaki i think that was his name or hamaguchi sorry hamaguchi hamaguchi is like oh thank god ha <laughs> he's laughing and everything oh my god all right and nishikata goes tries to go back how to her how to his house home and in the middle of it in the middle of his journey he sees the bicycle of nishika uh, of takagi and Tai is just sitting there like you know just typing the message and just deleting it again typing again like trying to find what to say to Ta nishikata and sends it to him like by by this point i was able to realize like that's the reason why Nish takagi was so depressed throughout this whole episode because she went there and now here's the thing i thought you know like this part i thought like she she went to the locker opened it and like you know she probably had like a prank some kind of a prank thing which she was going to prank nishikata with and while doing that she saw those chocolates and she got depressed looking at that i thought it was it was something like that now here's the funny thing <laughs> uh, here after this like nishikata confronts takagi and takagi actually explains that yeah like i like you know i actually saw it and that's why i was kind of like you know a little bit bummed out throughout this whole uh, like you know uh, throughout today and uh, <clears throat> and that's why i wasn't able to tease you and you know as she was talking i was thinking wait a minute maybe she didn't want to like you know she didn't wasn't like you know going to prank him you know maybe she genuinely wanted to put the chocolate you know in her in the locker and i i just like you know assumed that she was going to prank him and later on gave him the chocolate but maybe it was like you know from the beginning she was going to put the chocolate in the uh, locker and that's why she was like you know extra depressed after seeing those chocolates in so i'm like yeah maybe i'm wrong maybe she wasn't going to prank him but was was going to actually put the chocolate in so they kind of apologize and uh <clears throat> Dakagi is like, okay, in truth, the truth was I was planning to put this in your shoe locker this morning. She brings out the chocolate box. I'm like, there you go. So yeah, I was wrong. You know, she was not going to prank him. She was actually going to put the chocolate in it. And I'm like, all right, that's, you know, that's nice. And oh my God, she, <laughs> she gives it to him. He opens it and there's sardines in it. And I'm, I'm just like, you know, just my mouth is open. I'm like, what the hell? that timing i'm like okay so you did was trying to you were trying to prank nishikata from the beginning <laughs> so basically what happened is she was probably going to prank nishikata using those sardines you know put them in the locker i'm, I'm telling you what's what she was going to do she came here she was prepared she had one chocolate one of this sardine thing and she made up the whole joke with the sardine you know that wordplay thing and she was like you know what let's go to his locker i'm going to put this sardine in he was going to come he was going to get very happy and you know open the box and he would see that there's sardines and i was going to make fun like you know kind of tease him for that and after later on when we we're going to go back home i'm going to hand him the actual chocolate and you know the actual valentine's chocolate to him when we are going to go back i'm guessing that was her plan she goes she has the sardines in her hand she opens the locker she sees three of the chocolates lined up she gets depressed she doesn't put the chocolate in just goes back like starts brooding about the whole situation throughout the day as is unable to tease Taka and nishikata in the end when he's she's coming back with the looking from the school duty uh she sees the whole situation with the three girls sees nishikata rejecting them and she is a little bit you know just you know relieved she goes back she kind of messages nishikata and she's like all right let's do the epic prank now and oh boy here we go she she kind of says like and explains the whole situation she's like yeah i was a little bit depressed these are all like you know her true feelings like yeah i was depressed this and that but then he pulls that epic prank out she <laughs> She pulls the epic prank out, just gives him the sardine, and Nishka is like, "What?" And then after that, she's like, "All right, here you go. Here's the actual one," and hands him the chocolate. 
that was that was okay that was really good and she's like you know what let's do the eraser contest tomorrow as well we're, we're going to see who's going to win this time because i was not in my full form today <laughs> okay now the next scene we see hamaguchi is like just sitting down and hamaguchi is like Taka, uh, nishikata this again this white day i'm going to confess you're also going to join me con and you're going to confess to uh, Takagi as like as as well nishikata's like what <laughs> and that's very dense oh boy i you know what uh, i really don't know where which part is this anime in which part of the manga i think the manga is still ongoing so i don't think he is going to wait a minute let me check is the manga still ongoing Let me just check a little bit. Yeah, I think it's still yeah, it's still ongoing, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like uh, uh, 157 or something the chapter. So it's still ongoing. So I I'm pretty sure the next episode is wouldn't be because usually I'm I'm guessing the final chapter of the manga when the manga will end will have them confessing to each other. So. And Nishikata actually confessing to Tagi wouldn't happen now, at least in the anime now, because I don't think the anime has still caught up to the manga. I'm not sure. So who knows? Like there's like a, like for me, I think there's like a 70% chance of him actually not confessing in the next episode. There there will be some kind of a situation, and he'll not end up confessing by the end of it. 70% chance of that happening, and there's like a 30% of me thinking maybe he will. So we'll see about that. Let's see the next episode uh, in the next week. We'll see. That'll be the final episode of this season. So I'm guessing a huge development is going to happen. Let's wait for it. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. This was my reaction to Teasing Master Tai san season uh, three, episode number eleven. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to this channel, or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. So. Yeah, that was it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week with the final episode of Teasing Master Taizan Season 3. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.